All right, thanks, Sean. I appreciate you asking that question. We're, uh, we're working pretty hard in San Francisco right now, uh, part of our densification efforts for Super Bowl. We're getting ready uh, with a 400 small cell plan in the downtown San Francisco area. Densification is important because people like to use their smartphones. People like to use them for almost everything. We talk about people who are cord cutters, well, there's an awful lot of cord nevers in uh, downtown San Francisco. Those people want to be able to use their devices for video more and more. Almost 87% of our traffic now is on LTE and uh, we're finding more and more traffic coming from video as well. So uh, it's important for us to be able to have hot spotting capabilities for where crowds gather, especially in an environment like Super Bowl where they're going to be downtown on the 50th mile. It's going to be a very exciting event. We also have just a lot of people that come to San Francisco all the time that want to be able to enjoy that, that beautiful area downtown. So uh, densification, getting dark fiber out there, getting the small cells in there, that's the direction we're headed. That's what's going to give us our ability to deliver to our customers on the promise of reliability. Yep, so distributed antenna systems, you're talking about things like outdoor DAS, and also you're probably referencing what we call CRAN, cellular radio access networks. And we're finding a lot of success also in setting up CRAN in downtown San Francisco. Uh, it's helping us with the ability to put what we call remote radio heads, or high-powered radio heads that don't have to have a whole lot of real estate underneath them. And the, the help that that brings us is the ability to not have to disrupt a downtown area with a macro cell site and it also gives us the ability to deploy with dark fiber and it gives us the ability to prepare for future technologies.